I want to welcome you again today to another episode here on Restoration. I want to share with you some awesome footage of what we did with this rig. Now this rig doesn't have four wheels. This rig has two. Yep, we asked you a little bit ago if you'd be interested in some pop-up camper restoration footage, and this is going to be it. We're going to share with you how we turn this $500 deal into a $1,000 masterpiece. I'll share all that with you in just a second. So let me let you in on a secret of YouTube. When you hit that subscribe button, it is absolutely free to you, but it immensely blesses me. All right, y'all, today is the first day that I put my boots on in a long time. If you have watched any of our videos, you know we try to put out one or two videos, at least uh, probably two, maybe three videos out in a week. And it's been about eight days, I think, since we put out any content. And I want to not give you an excuse, but tell you why we haven't done that. Um, we, uh, my wife, Nikki T, has uh, tested positive for COVID-19. Uh, I'm too lazy to go get tested. I've had similar symptoms. We both just really don't feel all that good. Uh, we haven't felt horribly bad. Nikki T has coughed a lot worse than I have. I've had different symptoms, just kind of ache. Don't really feel good. But I wanted to share with you this footage. Now, uh, this is our pop-up camper, a 1970-something pop-up camper. And uh, so, so this rig was one that I bought from a gentleman uh, that was that lived near my dad. And uh, I think I paid either four or five hundred dollars. I can't remember. We bought it back in 2019, uh, back before the world went crazy. And uh, we bought it because we've used the pop-up camper many times camping, and we enjoy it. When Nikki T saw it, she wasn't too enthralled. She really did not think it was going to work out. So I knew I had to put. Uh, the rev touch to it. I knew I had to do something uh, that Nikki T would enjoy that she wouldn't mind camping in. It's got two twin pullouts on each side. Of course, uh, this that I'm sitting on now rolls out for JC to sleep on, so it's perfect size uh, for our family. I think it can sleep eight, but it would really be packed if we did that. But we've used it twice, I believe, maybe even more than that, and we've just had a great time with it. But the kicker is, most of this footage is a couple of years old so you'll see when I start working on the outside of the rig and maybe the inside of the rig and then we want to come back and show you the rig of what it looks like today and uh, we've got all the finishing touches just about done I don't think I got any footage of me doing all this sewing yeah I did I made all the curtains I covered all the cushions myself uh, it was not easy, uh, but I learned how. It doesn't look good, but it looks presentable. Uh, like uh, so many say, it's not a, a one-foot paint job. It's about a 25-footer. If you stand 25 feet back, it looks really, really good. So after I share with you all the footage of how, where it started and how it turned out, we'll come back to today, today's time, 2021, and I'll share with you what the inside of this rig looks like. All right, y'all, there's that beauty. Yep. I got it up. Got the curtains down before I showed it to you. The vinyl is in fairly good condition. This side here has a tear there. And on the inside, it's got a few spots uh, that's tore. All the screen looks fairly good. I've got to replace the rope. The bungee rope i've already bought some of it um this is probably the worst spot on the inside i don't know if you can see that but i'm going to drill all the way through here and come out the side uh, these screws have just got some moisture in there and rusted and pulled out so i've got to fix that I've got to wash all of this on the outside boy it looks uh pretty bad gonna have to replace all of these this uh they're just old and dry rotted so I'm going to have to replace those if I can find them. Uh, I believe I should be able to uh, should be able to find them. Rope on this side, same way. Each of these blocks have pulled out. Probably can't see them. I'll show it to you on the inside. But this morning, I fixed this side. Uh, the spare tire is on. 
I've still got to do some cleaning, got to work on my lights. This is uh, tail lights. There are two different sizes. So I want to get a set of tail lights that'll match. Uh, so I'm going to work on finding those. Um, let's go inside. It's a 12 foot long cabin, 12 foot long, uh, not counting the beds where the beds pulled out. It's probably 20 feet. I don't have those uh, pushed all the way up because I got a little bit of work to do. Uh, yeah, this is, uh, it's got a bench here. Uh, the bench actually pulls out and makes another bed. This pulls all the way out to here. It makes another bed. So you got two here, two here, two there at the table and two on the other side. I don't know if y'all can smell this. Oh yes, YouTube, you won't be able to smell it. But it's just got that old musty smell. Uh, the curtains that were here actually were put inside damp and I've got this mold started. So yep, I'm gonna have to replace this. I'm gonna wash this with bleach and probably gonna paint or do something else to the ceiling in here. One of the things I'm probably gonna do today, the electricity and it works. That looks really bright, but guess what? It's not, it's bright enough. But I've looked, this is an electrical department. I'm gonna probably drill another hole. It's only 15 amps. I'm probably gonna drill another hole through the side and put in another, there's, there's a spot, let's see in here, there is a spot, if you look right in there, there's room for two more. So I'm probably gonna put in another breaker because there's no air conditioner. So I'm gonna put a portable air conditioner inside. I hope drilling a hole through that wall and as I drill that hole through the wall, I'll have a vent for the exhaust. We're going to redo the floors. I think we're going to paint all of this white or an off white. And then all of the doors I'm going to try to replace with new plywood. And I want to stain these. So all the doors I want to put new plywood. They're not bad shape, but I want to just kind of spruce it up in here. Uh, make it brighter. So all of this will be white. This faux uh, wood uh, butcher block, if you will, table is really solid. So I think we're going to leave the tops the same way that they are. And then this will be painted white. This area here will be white. All of this. This uh, will be replaced with new, uh, nicer plywood, same thickness. And I will just stain this, sand it, stain. So this will be white. This will be a darker, probably closer to this color, walnut color. The floors, I think we're going to either get linoleum. It'll be up to Nicole linoleum or uh, vinyl. Uh, you know, we'll do something with the floor to make it look a lot better. This is a ice box. So what I'm gonna do is we're gonna remove this ice box and I'm gonna wire in uh, a small uh, refrigerator. So I'll put in a small refrigerator there. I've never done work with stainless, but it's got a little bit of rust on this, but the stove is in good shape. So I'm going to somehow clean this and uh, see if I can fix some of that. Uh, it doesn't have starters, of course, you just turn it just turn it on, and when you turn it on, you light a match, and you got your fire. Sink is in fairly good condition. Uh, I'll have to work on the sink as well. So, hey, I'm, I'm excited. This is not uh, something that is going to be a million dollar camper, but it's gonna be mine. And however much it costs to make it mine, uh, guess what, it'll still be mine. So I paid $500 in the shape that it's in. Uh, it's gonna cost me probably that or more to get it where we want it. So all said and done, if I've got a $500 camper at the end, then I have a $500 camper and that's great. So excited about that, looking forward to it. And uh, I hope to have this opportunity to brag later on. So deuces. This wood is not good. This wood is not good. This wood is decent. Has a board that goes across here that holds 
uh, the back of this holds here. So I've got to brace this up, these boards. I'm going to cut here and cut here, put new board in, brace it on the back. I mean, it was never meant to be very, very solid, or if it was, it no longer is. This is 70, so about 40 years worth of wood. Got a little bit of water damage in there, um, but I can seal all this up. And after I get all this done, the back end should be good. Then I'll pop it up. It needs a washing, I think. I think Nikki T would say it needs something. It needs a little washing. All right, this is what I've done so far. If you look inside there, I replaced that, scabbed it in, because I didn't want to cut those wires out. Got it pretty solid. Got the two pieces where the tire goes. It still moves a little bit, but it moved before. I think after you get all this back up and tinned in, it'll be good and solid and it'll hold, uh, it'll hold the tire. So all that's in, I'm still going to pop a few screws in this way and hold these two befores. That's all scabbed in. So I think, uh, that part will be pretty good. Glad to have this part done. I think I need to go pray as well because it was much harder than I thought. You can see the little bending spots. I've been a few places. Uh, but that's just my signature. All right, I've got all the metal back on. I've got everything uh, sealed uh, with new caulk. This was the part that I was concerned with, and now it's good and solid. Uh, of course, I still need to do some washing. You can see how dirty it is. A little bit of area that I cleaned there for that. I um, also noticed that sometimes in the last 40 years, they had two different um, size brake lights and turn signals. So I want to get two that are matching uh, where they're not different. I don't know if it makes that much difference with this trailer or not. But as you can look at it, you can see that it's in horrible cosmetic shape. But uh, I got a few things I want to do to it. We want to make the inside somewhat nice. Uh, didn't pay but $500 for it. So I guess if I put $500 in it, I'll have a thousand dollar camper looking forward. Um, somewhere through the years, this either dry rotted or pulled off. So I'm replacing it with bungee, bungee rope. It's bungee rope. So I'm threading the bungee rope through this, um, piece of cake, right? It's not really, uh, I figured it out. I had to burn the end. This end was frayed, and because it was frayed, it was not allowing. So you see this? See that? That's a torch. Yep, that torch uh, will actually make fire really well. And it burned the end, so now the end is a little bit hard and crispy, so it runs through here like butter. But I, I got 20 feet of it. I was too lazy, too much in a rush. I bought it at Ace Hardware. It was a dollar something a foot. So one side will be about 18, 19 feet. So that means it's $40 just for this. The camper has gone from $500 to $540. Here is project 2.0, no, 2.55. Uh, yeah, here's a rip. It looks like uh, through the years this has ripped this side. They actually put in this rope inside of it, probably tried to pull it tight. And when it did, it just ripped that. So I'm having to get wax string and sew this. All right, it is not the most beautiful job in the world, but it will be an effective job for this world. So grateful, uh, grateful for my great ability to sew. Not really. Um, just made it happen. I've got the bungee all the way around. I've got all the tops up. The tops are up on it on both sides. Uh, yes, I know. I've got a few things that I need to uh, get done. All right, look at here. I have finished almost all of these on the inside that is held holds this in pretty good. I Put these boards here. I've got to cut the screw, uh, the bolts uh, off a little bit. Uh, pop those in to keep any bugs out. Um, if you look on the outside, 
I've got it lowered down some. That's why the screen's that way. But that's what it is. I just put a little bit of silicone behind the finishing bolts. Bolted them in all the way around. Um, this side was already done. I think that side's pretty weak. It looks pretty rough. Uh, all I've got to do, I just noticed, is this side. It's pretty weak over here, too. So I'm going to fix that side and get as much use out of it as we can before I have to take the whole top off and replace all the wood around the edges. Don't really want to do that. Ooh, I do not want to do that. All right, if you come around to this side, you see some of the things in which I have done. Once again, got to clean and caulk the outside. I'm going to get white screws, bigger screws to go in. Uh, replaced. Uh, this is the gray water where it comes out. This is the city water hookup uh, here. Um, I need to get a peacock. I've got one of these ordered. This is for the fresh water, potable water that you put in. Um, so this, this here was this piece. You can see it's in pretty bad shape and it's open to the top. So rain, dirt, anything can get down into your tank. I got another one of these ordered. Uh, this is the style that I'm going to use for the other side. Uh, this is just for the 15 amp plug-in. I actually may cut a hole and put two 15 amp plug-ins uh, because I want to install installing now an air conditioner. So let's go over here. I have a 9,000, I believe it's 9,000 BTU air conditioner. So I'm going to put a dryer vent on the outside and it's going to hook up to the inside so that I can hook my exhaust to this. It's a little smaller than the normal cable that goes to the back, but I'm gonna make it work. And uh, the only thing with this, I'm concerned with water uh, getting in when I'm going down the road. Everyone's told me, hey, watch that. I'm gonna seal the inside of this. The inside of this will be sealed and I will be able to cap the outside when I get through or the outside of this on the inside. So any water that gets in would remain in this pipe. And then when I open it up, I'd be able to wash it out. Uh, and, and it'll dry out because this will always be screened and open. So uh, I, what I did, I know it's not an easy way. I cut the tin with this. Just went around and cut it and made it really exact. Uh, now I'm going to go in. Uh, I'm going to cut this. Isn't that pretty wallpaper? That is screaming 1970s. This whole trailer is screaming 1970s. Uh, but this, I wish this was on the inside. It's much prettier than what it is. Nicole still wouldn't like it. Uh, but now I'm going to go, go get my jigsaw and cut this out. I believe uh, it's really solid. Uh, so that's going to give me something good to uh, use. Hey, JC. Hey. You know why 2019 is afraid of 2020? Because when they fall, 21. All right, I think doing everything on the cheap sometimes works out. Look at there. This is uh, this is my vent. The air conditioner's in there. Air conditioner's working. I still need one. Still need two more screws. I've got to go get. I've got to caulk up around this. I'm going to try to find a way I can seal the inside here, which I'm still planning on doing. Uh, I'll show you on the inside. I don't know if it's going to cool it off much. It's a yard sale fine portable air conditioner. There she blows. Um, 79 degrees in here, or 89, 87 degrees in here now. It's blowing out cool air. Um, so we're going to see. I'm going to let it run for a while. I think I'm going to have to run another system here i've got all this 15 amp i plan on putting a small uh small what is the word i'm looking for one of the small like refrigerators that are for the college students so small cubic inch refrigerator but the air that's blowing out here is cool if you look under pardon the wind and the noise if you look under there i got a dryer vent that's just hooking it up to the dryer vent to the outside and guess what? Arr, arr, arr. 
I like doing sounds like that in vans, but it's working. And the air is cool. It looks ugly, but it fits the decor. All right, I don't know if you can see this. This is the ceiling. But if you look over here, I'm going through the transition. Yep. Um, this is actually wallpaper that I'm putting on. I don't know if you can tell that big difference there. This is the pop-up. It's dirty. I've cleaned it, but now I've dirtied it again. I'm starting the interior restoration or interior frou-frou. This is kind of lacy. Um, wanted to satisfy Nikki T. We know how that is. Right, I don't know where I was last. I finished the ceiling. Finished putting the pattern on the ceiling and I actually have painted it. Painted all around the inside. I painted all of the wood at the base. Taken all the doors and the drawers out and painted those. So now paint's drying. I'm tired of the camper at the moment. You say, wow, look at all that over. Everything that's over is going to be covered or cleaned. One of the two. Um, so it's white now instead of brown. Um, was going to do it gray, but I thought gray was too much of a fad. Straight up white. And I uh, still have a few spots that are going to show the brown. Of course, the countertops are keeping. Uh, any of the cubbies are going to stay brown. Um, but I like the ceiling, if you can notice. It's got the texture on it. All looks pretty good. Um, not perfect, but perfect enough. Perfectly mined for the price I paid. I probably have about $200 in it now. $200 worth of supplies. Uh, well, I bought a refrigerator for 100 bucks, so more than that, I guess. I'm gonna have to get an air conditioner that'll work. This is the cabinet, I've taken it off. I'm replacing all the doors with new plywood stained. So it should be fairly nice by the time we get through with it. It's a pile of stuff. It's a pile of trash. I don't believe this is. Here's a reveal. I uh, still have a few stickers on a few things. Uh, maybe this looks a little different. Uh, there's the ceiling with the trim. Here's the flooring. There's my new cabinets. That's my new refrigerator. Uh, and that's cold Mountain Dew table still got uh, still have a few things i want to do to it uh this air conditioner works but i want to get one that looks a little nicer uh it's actually blowing cold air i don't know if you can notice this but i built the door my wife's always wanted a barn door and i put a barn door in our pop-up camper i replaced all of the drawer coverings uh, place the flooring painted everything that's white inside uh, still got a little bit of work to do on the canvas there I'm going to cover all of the cushions got to learn how to sew in the next couple weeks but I don't think it looks too bad all right y'all here we are on the outside of the rig and the outside of the rig has been sitting out it's uh, of course I leave it popped up uh, just for ventilation sake and the outside's got a little mildew. I thought I was gonna clean it today, but I promise you, I don't feel too good. So I don't believe I'm gonna be doing too much cleaning on the outside of this rig. I did sweep out the uh, inside. So let me share with you what the inside of this rig looks like. Yeah, there it is. Just the outside is just, you know, pretty standard pop-up. It, it does not look any different. We didn't do much here. Uh, we did put this port in, of course, put in new lights and, uh, you know diamond plating there just to give it a little little uh look uh, on the outside here you see uh, here's a vent for our air conditioner yeah i'll show you that in georgia you can't go without it of course here's the this side of the rig uh some different portholes just had to replace some of those um well let's go inside and let you see what it looks like in here of course now remember 
uh, the flooring we redid uh, all of the flooring of course painted all of this got a few scratches because we've used it of course all of the wood here I stained put all of that here's our refrigerator I, of course had to put in some different plugs it just had a cooler here uh, there is our refrigerator and Nikki T can't go without a coffee pot if you notice all of these doors are wood yep we made uh, all of those uh, stained them put all these in um, this door here uh, is the closet yeah I repaired it you'll probably see footage of it inside but this piece here has broken going down the road so I need to find a new uh, I need to find a new latch for this here here's our air conditioner we don't need it right now but if you look under here you see there's the vent it, the air conditioner vents out to the outside that helps just a few tables uh, here's the curtains of course I made all of these curtains I got some storage this is mine and Nikki T's side I've got some things stored uh, behind this uh, just some cooking utensils and there's our vent line that we use to vent out uh, here's the table um of course i just did a black and a gray uh, pattern with this sort of teal looking color of course here is the ceiling got new lights i don't know if you saw this uh, probably did not uh, but we had to work on a vent uh, so there's uh there's the vent the inside vent of course here's the uh, outside the way the outside looks that's where reagan sleeps of course jc sleeps right here this uh picks up slides out it comes all the way over we move the air conditioner over it slides out perfectly there but here's the the flooring the flooring is just kind of a dark color it's been scratched of course we have used it but i think it's held up really well uh, the ceiling has a few areas that needs to be touched up of course it has a little bit of a wrinkle here um but i think all in all uh this is just kind of a a decorative uh, piece if you see that pattern and then i glued it up wet it glued it up and painted it and it stayed up uh stayed up fairly well so friends there it is a uh, 500 dollar deal i would estimate i have pretty close to 500 dollars in it so we have turned this 500 dollar camper into about a thousand dollar masterpiece now you may look at this and say man no way in the world, Rev, would I stay in that. But hey, it's better than a tent. Cost me a thousand bucks, and my family has had great adventures in it. I pray when all this COVID mess passes, I uh, pray that this spring, uh, early spring, we'll be able to hit it and go camping again. Our family loves to go camping, and uh, we're going to do that. We're going to enjoy that, and we're going to have a, a fun time uh, camping once again in this rig. Um, but I thank you so very much for watching. And as always, I know no way of closing out any of these videos than saying deuces. May God bless.